Despite its Jack the Ripper reputation, the bullseye snakehead is, in one sense, just another addition to Florida's existing roll call of exotic wildlife. Every year, some 200 million live animals are brought into the US to supply a pet trade worth billions of dollars. And in Florida, many of these foreign imports have escaped and become permanent residents. To get an idea of how many exotic fish there are here, and to put the snakehead invasion into some kind of context, I join a fish and wildlife team on the canals. Bursts of electricity from the boat's electrodes leave any nearby fish temporarily stunned, allowing us to scoop them out and drop them into a holding tank for later inspection. That's a Florida gar, that's lovely. First one of those I've actually seen out of the water. Native species like this will be returned to the water, but any non-natives, like snakeheads, will be put on ice and killed. I'm amazed to discover such a rich mix of native and exotic species, living cheek by jowl in a single small canal. After an hour, we pull over to examine our catch. Blue gal. 202. And what's that? That's 140. Okay, this is a bluegill, that's a native species, so that goes back in the water. This is a bit like a fairground lucky dip. Spotted tilapia, 129. 60 grams. That's an exotic. That's an exotic, so uh, this one, not such good news, this one goes in the box. Peacock. It's a peacock bass. 362 peacock. Ready? Okay. And that is 750 grams. And this is a peacock bass. Although this isn't from around here, it's from South America, from the Amazon. Now, this one was introduced officially. This one has got a visa. This is not an illegal immigrant. This one actually can go in the water. Bullseye, snakehead. 691. Okay, so that is 215. Unfortunately for this one, it's in the box. So, I mean, it really is just a melting pot. I've seen fish from Africa, Southeast Asia, Central America, and they're all here in North America.